And today we're going to go on a visual journey where firsthand we're going to see the silver shortage. Hey, look, I see you right now. And it's a big deal, a big privilege that you've joined me here in the basement. I just want to tell you, I appreciate you being here, my fellow basement dwellers, silver lovers. Please subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and give this video a thumbs up as we go on this visual journey into the silver shortage. The unsung hero of the new economy. Let's first take a look at the silver deficit. As you can see my little yellow finger moving around right there, we see that silver demand keeps surging, driven by technologies like solar power and AI. In 2023 alone, the silver market experienced a 15% supply deficit. As you can see in this pie chart, the blue part there is the 15%. That's the silver that's missing. That's the extra silver that the world is demanding above and beyond what the mining and recycling industry can provide. Here's the silver supply and demand gap. As you can see, the darker shaded area is total demand. The lighter shaded area is total supply. If we go down and take a look from 2021 through 2024, the silver market is expected to reach a cumulative deficit of 759 million ounces. Look up here, guys. Again, the light shaded area is what the mines and recycling can supply. The dark area represents the excess demand, and it's growing quickly. 759 million ounces. Silver is second only to oil as one of the most widely used commodities with more than 10,000 applications. Let that sink in, 10,000 applications. Silver is essential in new technologies. In 2025, renewables are expected to generate more electricity than coal, with solar meeting half of the global demand growth over 2024 and 2025. If we look at this uh, solar panel uh, graph here, you can see 2022, 118 million ounces. 2023, 193 million ounces. In 2024, uh, Solar demand in 2024 is expected to account for 23% of total silver supply or 232 million ounces. But wait, there's more because we see that silver is also used in many other technologies, including silver nanoparticles that are used in wearable electronics and skin patches, electric vehicles. Silver is also used in semiconductors, control sensors, LiDAR technology. Silver's conductivity is crucial for AI's high energy demands. And something that's super interesting to us is that the average cell phone contains 0.34 grams of silver. That means that for every 100 cell phones that are being produced, being used in the world, the billions of cell phones, for each 100 cell phones, that's 30 grams of silver. That's about one ounce of silver per each 100 cell phones that you see in our world right now. Meanwhile, declining ore grades and depleting reserves at existing mines reduce silver output. So as the world is demanding more and more silver, the mining sector is only able to provide less and less. What does that tell us from a basic supply demand perspective? You know what that tells us. That tells us the world is running out of silver. Now, if you want to get your hands on some silver before it potentially becomes much more valuable, do yourself a favor and please check out channel sponsor Pimbex, P-I-M-B-E-X. These videos are not possible without the support of Pimbex, you'll find great prices, great selection, and a company you can trust. And if you ever decide that you might want to convert part or all of an IRA into precious metals, please 
do yourself a favor, take your time, shop around and include Pimbex in the list of companies that you talk to. Compare how many actual ounces of silver and gold you can get for your money from each company. What does it tell us when we hear that 70% of silver is mined as a byproduct of gold, copper, and other metal mining? Yes, only 28.3% of silver comes from primary silver mines. That means that silver is an afterthought to these companies that are mining other things like lead, zinc, gold, and copper. So when the silver price does take off, they're going to be much slower to react to the increase in demand. The stark reality is that finding new silver deposits is very difficult. All the easy silver has already been mined. When we look at the top five silver deposits in the world, at number one, polymetal resources up in northern China, number two, outcrop silver in gold. That looks to be located in northern South America. Number three, Dolly Varden Silver, a stock that I happen to own. Uh, they've got a big deposit up in British Columbia. Number four, Vizla Silver. I believe that's in Mexico. And number five, BlackRock Silver, another stock that I own with their Tonopah deposit in Nevada. I'd like to thank Outcrop Silver for providing the visuals used in this video. It really drives home just how critical of a situation the world silver market finds itself in right now. A critical situation which can only be resolved by much higher prices for silver. Because as we saw, right, the demand profile for silver continues to explode while the supply side continues to shrink. It's going to sure be an interesting journey. I'd also like to thank channel sponsor First Mining Gold. They're a Canadian gold developer with two development stage gold projects in Canada. And of course, our friends at Fortuna Mining. They're a silver and gold mining company. They mine silver in Mexico and Argentina with their Latin American operations, and they mine gold in West Africa. I'd also like to thank you for joining me here in the basement. This is not possible without the most important person in the basement right now. That's you. So please come back. I'll look forward to seeing you soon.